What up, y'all? Official Bowman Breaker in the house. Well, uh, I could I could just tie it up, but like I don't feel like doing. It. Anyway, got my Bowman jersey on. It's time to do some 2017 Bowman Draft baseball, of course. Super Jumbo Full Case Break PYT number one. Mm. Let's get to it. I have the case right here. As always, good luck, everybody. Abraham looks like he's in a chipper mood today. Ah, uh, so you guys know with store breaks, I do put uh the people out there, so you guys can uh, either make fun of or you know say hey, how much you selling that for, bro? I need that dog. I need that. Blow that up for you. Slide that to the right. Crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. If you guys don't know about that song, then never mind. It's a full case of this, so oh boy. Now, you guys earlier saw 10 cases of this with Jason. I'm just happy to fill one case. That man did 10. Oh, dang, this stuff is heavy, dude. Ugh. Jeez Louise. That stuff is no joke. God. There, that's my cardio for the day right there. Strictly hand cardio. <laughs> I don't know if such a thing exists, but yeah. All right, let me open up a whole bunch of top loaders so I know I'm going to need them. Well, Sailor, if you want in, PYT number one is full already. You can get in on PYT number two, though. PYT number two is in the store. Oh, man. Let's open this up. I think I'm going to go Jason's route and do a pack by pack on this. Box by box. Keep in mind, guys, Veteran Base does not ship in this. Veteran Paper Base, to be uh, exact. I'm just double-checking on that. See, Paper Base does not ship. Paper Base does not ship. I just wanted to put that out there. So I will be separating the Paper Base because it doesn't ship. Um, you know what? This is handy. Jason, I appreciate you thinking of your boy, low key. So I can put the paper base away in this. It occurs to me that we probably need a bigger desk. All right, I hope you guys are ready because I don't know if I am. Hydration very important when you're about to pull the fire. Let's uh, let's get to it. You know we can probably do box wars on this. We can probably do a box war on this. That'd be a little funky. That's what is it? Five packs, but technically it's like ten. Hmm. A box war would be interesting. Keep your box kind of deal. If you have the lowest numbered card, I don't know. But let's uh, let's begin here. So this is paper base. Paper base does not ship. So let's put that to the side. Here we go. The chromies for my homies. Yeah, I know I'm going a little slow. Because I want to take it all in. Back to the paper base. All 
All right, nothing in that pack. What's in this one? You know, some of those grays are numbered, so keep an eye on that. The Chromies. Up to four ninety nine right there. Jeter Downs. Clark Schmidt Refractor. A few refractors here. Clark Schmidt Defining Moment. New insert. A blue AJ Puck for the A's. Insert for the Reds autograph Stuart Fairchild on card auto, of course. Boom, Reds on the board. Let's continue. Got some chromes here, paper base. This one numbered? Nope. Refractors here. All right, that's it for the first pack. Uh, kind of want to go through the paper base real quick. See if I skipped any numbered cards. It'll be down the bottom right corner. See if there's any shiny in here that I may have skipped. Negative. Kyle, that's a lie, dude. Come on, man. Are you for real? There's no way. I know I pulled that one paper base to four ninety nine. I'm just double checking. You know, considering the paper base doesn't ship, just want to double check. That's crazy, Kyle. That's my. That's kind of actually mind boggling. have here the good old paper base and let's go through the back there it's a little tough to tell the grays from the rest I got a little lucky on the first one so I am not leaving anything to chance I'm checking the back of the cards on those paper base make sure we get any parallels out to you Quinn Brody of the Mets purple that is number two, 250. New recommended viewing. These are uh, new inserts, draft history as well. Mackenzie Gore of the Padres autograph refractor at that. I think that's numbered to 499. Yes, it is. Top load this bad boy. Well, what do we have here? Chromes, the rest are paper, and then some refractors on the back. But let's double check these papers, make sure we don't have any numbered cards here. No, they're, they're sneaky, they're sneaky. Negative. Let's see, it's in this deck. All the paper base. See what is numbered, if any. Paper base does not ship. FYI. Chromes. See some nasty colors here. Come on. What are what are blacks? What are reds? What are golds at? The greens. All paper. Yep, that's all paper. Any of these are numbered or what? Oh, uh, 
nothing there. Ten cases of this. I don't know how Jason did it, man. So much to go through. So much loveliness. Alright, no numbers in those paper base. Let's go through the chromes here. Where the color at? Where the color at? Papers. Uh, this is a full case, so it's six boxes of it. Five packs per box. No numbers in the paper. These are chromes. All right, let's see what's in here. Close the paper base in the top of the stack. Just double checking the paper base as I said paper base does not ship in this break so I double check the back of the cards in case there are any numbered parallels see like this one this one's numbered Alex Schreff of the Red Sox to 499 see it's numbered so I just want to double check make sure I don't pass up anything for you guys for the Astros Corbin Martin the autograph See something here. This might be the way. What's up, Amanda? How are you? Put that to the side there. These are all paper, followed by the refractors at the end. Yes, correct. The silvers are to four ninety nine, and in some of the paper base, they are numbered to four ninety nine. You know, they kind of have like a little gray outlining to them, but it, it is a little difficult to uh, to see them. So I, I always double check the back of the cards. It takes a little extra time, but I feel it's worth it. You know. see what's in this pack here I feel like I might change the uh, way I do it these are all paper so let's check the back of the card see if I have any numbers no numbers there these are chromes need to see some nasty color come on now baby The papers, see if any's numbered. All right, nothing there. Start there. What do I have here? These are all papers, so let's just look at the back of the card. See if I see any numbered cards. Nope. Noah Bramer. Blue for the Rays. Kind of looks nice with the Rangers colors. That's number to 150. A blue Brian Miller for the Marlins. That's number to 150. Nice color in this stuff. Seth Corey of the Giants purple. There you go. Getting some color auto for the Giants. That's numbered to 250. Mm. Any top loaders? 
I grabbed the uh, wrong ones. Pretty sure I got some in here. Yes, I do. These uh these Bowman are a little thick, so we gotta throw them in 55s. So they fit just right, just right. All right, Seth Corey, getting the top loader from your boy. Beautiful. Number to 250. Continue the journey. That is Bowman. Got the refractors here in the back. Stack that up. Let's see if I have any numbers here. I do not. All right, last pack out of the first box. Yeah, I think I'm going to change how I do things. I think I'm just gonna open up all the packs and then just straight kill it. Let me stack that up a little bit. All right. Now these should all be paper. It is. See the back of the cards. If there are any numbers. No numbers. There are the chromes, no autos in there. The rest are paper. Check the back. Make sure we don't have any numbered cards. Nothing there. Boom, boom. So these are all paper in the front. Let's check the back though. Make sure we have no numbers as I've been stating. Just makes it a little easier. A lot easier. Can't really tell. Just by looking at it in the front. It's a little difficult. Alright, where's the auto in this business? Clark Schmidt. Purple for the Yankees. That's numbered to 250. Casey Clemens, auto for the Blue Jays. There you go, Blue Jays, getting an auto. The refractors at the end. Make sure none of these are numbered. There, mm, running out of space, running out of space. Now have to put in a put in a request with HR for uh, for a new desk, which uh, is probably gonna get a hashtag denied. But you don't know till you try. All right, one box down. Let me start putting uh, this stuff away here. Paper base, put this away. Uh, Ziggy, I am doing court kings. Uh, once I'm done with this break for eBay. But uh, I seriously doubt we're going to put any in the store. I'm likely going to keep the court kings all eBay action. I do have a court kings break coming up right after this, Ziggy. Uh, I'm doing Bowman Draft Super Jumbo right now for the store. And I have another one. PYT number two in the store as well for this. 
Bowman Draft. Oh, you went dark. Boom. Uh, JJD Fish. We will be doing Court Kings right after this break, man. So check back in about 30, 40 minutes or so. Because this break is going to take a little time. Stupid amount of cards in this. I'm going to do, do a little stack in action. I know Jason doesn't like to do it. And I don't really like to do it either, but uh, after it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, there's one stack. Oh yeah, this is this is for the big boys, JJD. This is this is where the uh, the big boys come out to play right here. this way I'm done opening up the packs and I just got to straight up go through them. probably save some time doing that we'll see and this pack right here all right this is the second box now these are all papers check to see I have no numbers in the back Nothing there. Check out the cronies. And these are all paper. Make sure none of these are numbered. These are paper, so put the paper away. Dude, I want to see some red too, man. I want to see some gloriousness. All right, these are all paper, so let's see the back. All right, so nothing here. That's probably numbered. And it is. Kevin Smith of the Blue Jays to four ninety nine. Quentin Holmes for the Indians to uh, I think that's the two fifty. Is there Zach Glouther of the Orioles autograph. You already know, Kyle. Oh, you hit an autograph from those uh, green packs I sent? See, there you go, JJD. You know, I tell people that there's there's autographs in those green packs. They don't believe me. So I'm glad somebody came through the chat and let me know. This is all paper. We'll do that in a second. Right, right, right there's... So I'm going to double check, make sure I don't have any numbered paper base in the back. I do not. Well, I hope they were nice messages, JJD. No numbers on that. Rooms. Mm. The rest of paper. 
fish, homie. My man. Yo, you're not that dude that goes around singing and stuff, are you? Oh, dude, you can give me a hug anytime, man, you know. As long as it's a, a manly hug. Right, here's paper. Let's see the back. Make sure there's no numbers. Boom, boom, boom. Nah, but have you, like, the, the reason I ask is because it reminds, like, your, the username you have, anyway, your screen name, it reminds me of this dude uh, who goes by JJ Findish or something like that, and he tries to sing, and he's a terrible singer, but it's really funny. Mark Vientos of the Mets, number 250, paper base, or I should say the paper parallel. Trevor Rogers of the Marlins Green Auto. That's a nice. Ice JJ Fish. There you go. There it is. See, I was, I was kind of close. That's the 99 for the Marlins. It looks nice with the Marlins colors, too. Very nice. Trevor Rogers coming your way. Hey, listen, Fish, if that's you, man, keep doing your thing, dog. Keep doing your thing. Don't let the haters hate. Haters gonna hate. Just do you. You know what I'm saying? If that really is you. Ah, gotcha. Right, do you know who I'm talking about, though, Fish? It's like this dude that goes around and he, like, tries to, like, sing and stuff. But he's, like, really bad. But the videos are, like, really good because he's really bad. So we have the refractors here in the back. You don't know who I'm talking about? Alright, maybe keep it that way because it's not for the faint of heart listening to that man trying to sing. It's not, not fun. Exactly. You can't, I, I never knock the hustle, man. If you know if he's if he's getting that YouTube money, more power to him. Keep putting up those videos so I can keep laughing at them. Can't knock the hustle. Never that. You're about to YouTube him? Oh, dude. It's pretty funny. Kyle, you've seen him on Tosh.0. Oh. I've heard of that show, Tosh.0. Oh. Isn't it like some dude that just goes around like... Like he has a TV show and on his TV show all he does is watch YouTube videos? Is, is that correct? I, I don't know. The name sounds familiar, but I don't really know because I don't watch the show, you know? No numbers on the paper base. I agree, Fish. I agree. Although, Acid is pretty close, second. To 499, Seth Elledge of the Mariners. Now, as you, now I don't know if you can tell... This is a regular paper base, and this is uh, the gray or the silver base. These are numbered. This is not. So you can't really tell the difference just by looking at it from the front, which is why I, uh, I look at the back of the paper base just to, you know, avoid any kind of uh, hesitations, if you will. I don't know. I don't know what the word I was looking for. Bubba Thompson of the Rangers blue. That looks nice with the Rangers colors. That blue on blue to 150. Brian Miller. Marlins putting work on this case so far. Second autograph right there for the Marlins. First one was Trevor Rogers and now Brian Miller with the autograph. On card, of course. You know how the Bowman do it. Let's continue. Got the chromes here. These are all papers. See if I have any numbers in the back. I do not. Alright, what do we have here? 
got a whole bunch of paper base. Let's flip it. Nothing there in the paper base. Check out the chromes. Refractors there. A blue paper for Vlad Gutierrez of the Reds. Ice JJ Fish, I think was his name. Vlad to 150 right there for the Reds. Brendan Little of the Cubs, purple. I believe that's number 250. I'm sorry, well, yeah, so 250. Uh, I don't even know what video to suggest to watch. Just watch whichever one has, like, the most views. Uh, no, I don't think any Ramos yet. Keyword is yet, Bob. I got you. I got you on a red Ramos, dog. Hans Kraus for the Rangers. Here, Bob, because just because I really like you, I'll do you. I'll do you a, a quick little recap. Uh, once I'm through with these chromies for the homies here, and these are paper here. These are refractors. Nothing on the paper base. All right, Bob, I'll give you a quick little recap so far. Only for you, because I like you. Hans Kraus, you just seen that. Rangers. Brian Miller, Marlins. A green Trevor Rogers, Marlins. Uh, Zach Lowther, Orioles. Casey Clemens, Blue Jays. Seth Corey, Purple Giants. Corbin Martin, A's. Silver McKenzie Gore, Padres. And Stuart Fairchild, Reds. Boom. Recap so far done. There's a refractor. These are the paper base. Again, easier for me to just look at the back of the cards to see on the paper base if there are any numbered cards. These are all chromes. All these be chrome. Make sure there's nothing mixed in there that I should know about. Nope. All right. That's all paper. So let's see the back. Oh, I thought I saw some gold in there in the paper. Nothing in that paper stack. See some green. A green Royce Lewis for the Twins. That's a nice card. That's number to ninety nine. A printing plate for Peyton Remy of the Cubs. What is that? A 101 mojo? There you go. Peyton Remy of the Cubs 101 yellow printing plate. Oh, yeah. He's doing his thing. He's doing his thing. He's getting his hustle on for sure. Can't knock that. My man doing it. I don't know if he had that many followers, though. Matt Tabor of the Diamondbacks with a silver auto. That's nice. Refractor auto. Another name for it. That's the 499. <sighs> Chrome's here. Paper base. I got refractors here in the back. Stack that there. Check the back of the paper base, see if there's any numbered cards. Nothing. Calling it silver, I feels you. I feels you. That's what it's about. You know, I, I had just got used to the term refractor, you know, 
because it refracts the light i'm like that makes so much sense okay cool i got it and then people start hitting me with the silvers i'm like what dude that's a lot of subscribers i need to get to that level but uh problem being you know our content is not you know driven towards that These are all paper, so let's go to the buck. Mm. All right. Nothing there. That's the second box down. I gotta grind harder though, fish. I gotta grind harder. I gotta grind harder. You know? While I'm asleep, there's somebody else out there breaking some stuff. Point to the point to the point to the easy work then, Papa. Point to the easy work. That is the MIA, he's the MIA lifestyle, dog. Although, you know, I, I like to think that Miami is like a mixture of New York and California. Like, Los Angeles and New York, I feel like Miami is, is a combination of both. I've never been to New York or to Los Angeles, California, so I can't really say. I'm just saying. I feel like that's accurate. Probably not, but whatever. Now, those tuned in to watch the Court Kings break, it will go after this break is done, guys. So stay tuned. And in case you want to get some more Bowman in your life, uh, because you couldn't get into the bids for the eBay break, I have a full case break of it on the website. Check it out, ripcitycards.com. If you've never made a purchase, you can register for an account and receive $15 once you register for the account. Oh yeah, Fish, where, where are you from right now? Where, where actually, where are you at right now? But uh, what brings you to my neck of the woods, dude? I got homies in LA. They're always trying to. They're always trying to get me to go out there. But I'd be like, dog, if I go out there, I might just stay. I might not come back. Bloop bloop. Oh, there you go, fish. Do your thing, Pippin. You know, actually, it's funny. I was watching this show called Portlandia. I was telling people in the room last night. I didn't really go into too much detail. First of all, let me just say the show is kind of funny. It's a little weird. Uh, so I asked my homie, who actually is staying out there in Oregon. I was like, yo, you ever seen the show called Portlandia? He's like, yeah, dog, it's pretty funny. I'm like, yes, yeah, I is getting there. So, you know, after a while... He's like, dog, keep watching it. Because I'm only on the season one, like episode four or whatever. He's like, keep watching, bro. It's funny. So eventually I asked him, I'm like, yo, so is everybody in Portland like hella weird like that? Everybody's like a hipster, like a hippie type shit? And he's like, yeah, dude. You know, there, there's, there's a lot of hippies out here. A lot of hipsters. A lot of weirdos. But you would like it, bro. And I'm like, you know what? I probably would. Because I'm weird. I like weird people. So I think uh, I might have to might have to pay a visit to Portland. You know, pick me up a little Portland strange. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, paper base here. Let's check the back. Make sure I don't skip any numbers. 
negative. Uh, I'm gonna get real loud for a second, so excuse me. Yo, Mario. You call me? Yeah. What's up? Have you, Have you been to the vending machine today? When's the last time you went? Yesterday. You remember if they had any monster? No, not yesterday. God damn it. All right, that is all. These are all chrome. Dudes, like I'm, I feel a long night coming of just Bowman extravaganza. So I kind of want to get some, uh, some energy in me. Oh, listen, I'm cool. Dude, I don't mind hipsters. I like, I actually, I dude, I like weird people. Like, dude, I go to Comic-Con. You know what I'm saying? I go to all those nerd events. Uh, dude, I enjoy it. Like, I do. Like, I feel like I can get along with, I get along with anybody, really. But I mostly want to, I want to visit Portland just to kick it with the weirdos. And be like, yeah, dog, I'm out here, dog. I'm king of the weirdos. No, I'm not going to say that. Those weirdos will probably punch me in the face. I don't want that. That's how I make my money. Brent Netzer. Purple. For the uh, Red Sox. Number to 250. Brendan Murphy of the Brewers. Autograph. Oh, man. You're lucky, dude. Like, we don't have any big conventions out here in the East Coast. Like, the biggest conventions are in New York. And I'm not going to go to New York for a convention. We get a few in Miami that are kind of cool. You know, we have Supercon in Fort Lauderdale. That's kind of cool. Uh, there's a Comic-Con at the beach. That's pretty dope. I I've only ever cosplayed once. And that was pretty fun. You know, I had chicks coming up to me trying to take pictures. Had children, which was a little weird. Their parents are like, oh my god, you're so adorable. Can my son take a picture with you? I'm like, yeah, I guess. But it's fun, man. It's a good time. It's a, it's a good time. This is all paper. Jeez. So let's see if we have any um, numbers here. Actually, you know what's funny? Now we're talking about it. My boy Mario, who's in here doing Pokemon breaks, he's actually going to New York. Hey, Mario, what's the name of that Comic-Con you're going to? He's ignoring me right now, but that's he's not. He's not ignoring me. It's it's because he's he's doing a he's doing a break right now. So, but anyway, he's actually going to New York to do a to do a a Comic Con out there and spread the gospel of Pokemon breaks. All right, nothing numbers here. Well, fish. First of all. Ooh, there's a gold. Uh, I'm not an islander, but trust me, I get it all the time. So you know, <laughs> I don't take it personally, <laughs> dude. If I had a nickel for every time somebody guessed incorrectly my heritage, I, I'd be a fucking billionaire. The Ernie Clements is to fifty for the Indians. That's nice. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, I'd, dude. I'm pretty sure I'd get a, like listen. I'm I'm very chill, dude. I'm very calm. You know what I'm saying? I like, I like to hang out, whatevs, go with the flow. But yeah, man, Snow Bunnies is really what I'm trying to get to. Colton Hawk of the Marlins to 150. Well, yeah, McBapa, you are an intelligent man, and I wish we had more of you. Zach Louther of the Orioles autographed blue, blue ink on the blue parallel auto. That's pretty sweet. I don't know if that's a thing. Uh, but that's number to 70. 52 out of 70. Pretty low on that. Yeah, dude, trust me, Fish. I I've heard it all. I've heard it all. You know, oh, dude, are you Hawaiian? Are you Samoan? Are you Dominican? Are you are you Mexican? Are you, are you anything except Colombian? <laughs> well, yeah, Miami would give you a clue. At that point, then you just got to look at the map. And look at countries within a 200 mile, you know, radius or whatever. Really? I would fish? I would? Damn, I, I think I need to go. I think I need to go to Portland. You know, put a, put a couple babies in there. In the oven and then it bounce before it's time to, you know, 
to cash out. And I'm coming back to Miami, dog. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't do that. Maybe I would. Uh, let's keep going. Portland has a nice guy-to-girl ratio. Listen, dude. I don't know if you guys have ever been to Miami. But the woman to male, the male to women ratio, whatever, in Miami is pretty crazy. For every dude, there's like four chicks out here. It's pretty crazy. I'm just joking, fish. Come on, dog. Uncle Jesse don't get down like that. Austin Beck of the A's to 499. I didn't even have to look at the back of the card. I could just tell on that one. Yeah, see? Your boy. Your boy getting it. Your boy getting it. I see some green here. Ryan Velade of the Rockies green. That's the 99 right there. Ooh, for the Reds. That's pretty sweet. Class of 2017, Jeter Downs for the Reds. That's pretty nice. <laughs> nah, nah, I'm, I'm Colombian, dude. But, yeah, I've, I've heard it all, dude. And, and I, actually, I'm cool with that. That way, you know, when I travel the world, people don't automatically assume, oh, he's, he's, he's a filthy American. Fuck that guy. People are going to think, oh, he's probably from some island. Oh, pay him no mind. I, you know, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's keep going. You know, believe it or not, but when you travel the world, Americans don't really get that much love <laughs> outside of the States. It's uh, actually kind of dangerous to say you're American. At least the places I visited. It is not uh, to your advantage to say, well, I'm an American, goddammit. No, you, you might get abducted. In Colombia, anyway. That'll happen. JB in the room! <laughs> nah, he's in yours. I just okay. felt like being an asshole. These are all chromies for my homies. I also want to visit Seattle. My boy JV out there. I want to go to Montana. Wrestle up some strange with my boy Bapa. And the, you know, the rest of the 12 people that live in Montana. I don't know why I'm checking the back of the cards when I, I feel like... JB in the room! <laughs> He's double fist in the rooms! Alright, so there's nothing there. At this point, I'm kind of just... A cut. Well, I'm pretty sure that's the, 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 four, the silver... Boom! All right, I got it now. I got the layout now. Quinn Brody of the Mets. Took me a while. Took me three boxes. But I got the layout. All right, these are refractors. Heliot Ramos! There you go! Listen, I, I really want to go to Boston. But I, I think I might get in a fight in Boston. Because you already know, Ziggy, I'm coming out there and I'm wearing full Dolphins gear, full Miami Heat gear, full Marlins gear. And I know how hard you Boston fans go. I'm probably going to get into a fight out there. You got my back, Ziggy? What's up? If you got my back, I'm down. Helly out Ramos for my boy. Is that is that going to you, Bopper? There you go, Mason. Doing good things for you. Heli out Ramos. That's a good. That's a hell of a good card. Wish I had some color on there for you though. Who knows? We still got three more boxes, dog. This is all paper. Now I figured out the layout. Jesse, Yo. What did, you, what did you guys do? Ten cases up there? Bowman draft super jumbo baseball. Jumbo or super jumbo? Super jumbo. Nothing there. You got in the next one too, Papa? You are a smart man because you know Uncle Jesse got that fire. 
You got my back when it comes to the Dolphins, but not the Heat. Mm. That's, you know, that's cool. I can deal with that. I can deal with that. I have actually, I, I went to college with a friend of mine who's from, uh, what, what's it called? Framington or something like that? Does that does that ring a bell to you, Ziggy? He lives in like Framington or something like that. Oh, see, fish. Now you now you now you're talking my language, baby. Although Uncle Jesse don't need help finding that, you know, it kind of it kind of just finds me everywhere I go. A purple Quentin Holmes for the Indians. That's the 250, I believe. Yes, sir. Sam Carlson with the silver auto for the Mariners. Framington. Is that what I said? I feel like that's what I said. But yeah, that's, that's where my boy is from. I don't know how far that is from Boston. That's all paper. Nobody cares about the paper. All right, we're halfway through, guys. Woo! Man, Jason did 10 cases of this? That's kind of crazy. All right, now we got to get some AJ pucks for my boy. Need some more hits. Oh, he did Jumbo, not Super Jumbo. Either way, that's still a lot, dude. Oh, Super's, yeah, Super's way easier for sure. It's all Oregon. Yep, yep, yep. What can I say, man? I'm, 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 you know, Jason spoils me. You know, he treats me like his low down dirty whore. But he, you know, he spoils me. You know, my boy Kyle actually lives around those neck of the woods. Uh, my boy's from Oregon, I believe. I don't know how far you are. From Portland, uh, Kyle. I need to go visit one of these days. But I don't know. It's kind of crazy out there, man. You you guys are like literally on fire out there, man. I don't know. Who, maybe maybe. Do you guys ever have like any any cool card conventions out there in Oregon? If so, I could probably convince Gelf to fly me out to Oregon so I can do case breaks out there at said convention to help further the name of Ripping Wax. No? Well, there goes that dream. McBapa, dude, you drove 11 hours to Portland? Uh, I'm, you know what? Let me, let me let you finish telling the story. James Bodine, what you got for me? Oh, so you did drive. Dang, Bapa. That's a hell of a journey. How long was the drive? 11 hours? Really, JJ? Hmm. You know, keep talking. I mean, you, you, you keep saying things that I like. You keep, you know, I, I have yet to hear a negative thing about Portland. Oh, damn, James Bo. Well, was it me? Because I'm I haven't sorted a break in a minute. So 
Well, fuck it. I'll take the blame. You're you are absolutely right, James. I messed up. Now, what did Jason tell you before I continue? I can't pump my own gas? That's weird. Oh, hell no. See, I can deal with the rain, but I can't pump my own gas. I'm, 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 I'm weird about that. Uh, as far as that, James Bodine, so yeah, did you talk to Jason? What did Jason say? I mean, for all I know, the sorter forgot to put it in there and put it in a different package and it's getting out to you, James Bo. I mean, I don't really know. I need more deets. Glenn Otto of the Yankees to 250. Lincoln Hensman of the White Sox autograph. Boom, boom. White Sox picking up auto. I do, James Bo, but uh, lately I've been doing so much that I'm like, nah. And they've been complaining about not getting hours because ever since I started sorting my, my own breaks, then it started affecting them. And then that's when they were like, oh, but we need hours, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, you bitches need hours now, huh? And I was like, all right, cool. So I proved my point. You know, if I have to sort my breaks, I will. It's just going to affect them. You know, sometimes, sometimes you got to put your balls on the table. Sometimes you got to, you know, say, hey, here are my balls on the table. What's up? You know, I had to flex on them one time. Uh, but James Bodine, listen, I'm telling you right now, I am going to forget James Bodine. So send me a message. I am it to me. That way I can check on that card and see where it's at, dude. You guys pay more taxes. Well, in Florida, we do have the state tax. Uh, that, whatever. I, I'm sure that happens everywhere. Um, whoa, a little green. For the Astros, J.J. Matijevic. That is to 99. I don't know if I would fit right in in Portland. I, I I have to pump. I have to put my own gas. Kristen Stewart, blue for the Tigers. Got a blue auto coming up. Brent Rooker with a blue auto for the Twenty Twin Twins. Mm -hmm. To one fifty right there. These are crones, all paper there. Go across the river to Washington and pump away. I like how you kind of said that a little dirty. All right, these are all papers. <laughs> Bapa, that was a good one. Did you not hear me laugh? That was a good one. That was a good one. Nothing there. I like clever jokes. I like clever jokes. When you put some thought into it, man, I can't help but laugh. There it is, the silver JB Bukowskis of the Astros to four ninety nine. Chromies for the homies. Shane Baz for the Pirates autograph. Very nice, very nice. James Bodine speaking that knowledge. Amateur comedian rules. <laughs> you know, James Bodine, I might be coming to a town near you. And uh, I want to open up for you, James Bodine. Can I open up for you one of these nights? Go into the comedy store. You're going to walk in. You think you're going to do your show. 
And then you're going to see Uncle Jesse up there telling his uh, his one joke. Paper base, all up in your face. In case you guys didn't know, James Bodine is an amateur comedian. And I do stress amateur. And he's funny every now and then. It depends It depends on how much he drinks. The more he drinks, the funnier he gets. I think that's accurate for everybody, though. All right, these are the paper base. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> ah, James Bodine, I love you too, bro. eBay one is gonna get busted, Hammy, uh, but not right now. Joe Perez of the Astros purple paper. After this, we have uh, Court Kings coming up for eBay. Quinn Brody, that's the homie for the Mets, Silver Auto. James Boldine, if you ever come down to Miami, dog, I'm going to go check you out. Because I damn sure ain't going to Texas. I lied. I would go to Texas. I was watching this, uh, what's that guy's name? That one dude who does, like, the man versus food, like, challenges or whatever. And, uh, he went to some place in Texas where he had himself, like, a, like, a fucking 60-ounce porterhouse or some enormous freaking thing of meat. And, Jesus, I think the, I think the channel was like, oh, you gotta eat all the food on the plate in, like, less than an hour or something like that. And I'm down to try. I'm probably going to fail, but I'll try. See, we can't do nothing like that, James Bodine. That's what's cool. See, Texas is cool like that. In Miami, we got alligators or crocodile, crocodiles. Crocodile. Yeah, we got crocodiles. <laughs> uh... In uh in Florida, well in Miami we have Cuban, Puerto Rican, Dominican women. So uh winning Stuart Fairchild of the Reds to four ninety nine right there. Yeah, we got pythons, but you know, those animals are not um what's the word I'm looking for? Indigenous to uh to these lands. Those are, you know, asshole exotic pet owners that just dump their Burmese pythons in the Everglades once they get too big. Thus destroying the ecosystem. Uh, Luis Gonzalez to 99. I'm sorry, uh, for the White Sox. You know, actually, there's actually a law now. Joe Perez of the Astros. Uh, there's actually a law now, James Bodine, where it is legal... To go uh, python hunting, giggity. Like you can go hunt pythons and get paid for it because they're not indigenous to Florida, and they they're really destroying the ecosystem. The red's coming up for you, baby. Put the papers away. I got two boxes left. I got the red coming up for you, Kyle. Put this away, too. So, I did not, well, I did, 
But this is okay. So the tag on my on my car expired. But I didn't feel like going to the tag office and you know getting a, a getting a new one. One because when I did go, I saw the line and it was gonna take me hours to actually get it. So I was like, "Fuck that! I'm just gonna buy it online." So I bought it online. It's gonna take like a week to get to me. My tags already expired, so I did print out the receipt. So I'm kind of concerned now, especially because your boy is riding a little dirty. You know what I'm saying? So I'm curious. If I get pulled over, I'm gonna tell the, I'm gonna tell like I'm straight up tell him like, "Yo, I know why you pulled me over." One, because I was going 100 in a, in a 45, officer. But that's that's whatever. I know you really pulled me over because of my tag. But I already bought it, dog. Here's the receipt. Michael Goodman, uh, Court Kings is coming up after this break. Uh, if I was to give you a timetable, I would say another 15 to 20 minutes. But after this break is done, I will be doing court keys. Uh, no, nobody pulled me over because, uh, you know, don't really like admitting this, but uh, I'm pretty privy to the game. I'm brown. I already got that strike going against me. I got a fairly nice looking car. That's another strike going against me. And I drive, a, you know, somewhat reckless. So that's another strike, which I, you know, purposely put against me. So, with that being said, I pretty much know my neighborhood well enough where I can take back roads all the way home and not see a single copper unless they're like in a residential area, which is, you know, not that often. Damn, the Heat lost to the Spurs. Fuck! The Heat need to get it together, man. We got a lot of talent. We need to get it together, damn it. I'll put that on the side. Back roads, man. You gotta know your back roads, dog. You know, you would you you don't know how many different ways you have of getting home until you're driving with, you know, an expired tag. Cause you know, you gotta hide from the 5 0 dog. You know, and they're, they're just doing their job, you know. They're just doing their job, you know. Anytime I've... Ooh, Ernie Clement with the blue auto for the Indians. That's nice. Like, listen, I've only had a, a handful of crappy experiences with the cops. I'm not going to lie. There's asshole coppers out there. But for the most part, they're pretty cool people, man. There's been times where I had a, an expired tag. And they're just like, you know, dude, I'm not going to give you a ticket for this. Just pay the shit. And then they leave me alone. Joe Adele for the Angels purple. That's a nice card. That's a nice card. Mark Vientos of the Mets with the base auto. You already know, Fish. You already know. Especially when you riding dirty. You, you know what I'm saying? And you, and then especially when you got to do the whole, uh, the whole convoy deal. You know what I'm saying? Where you got, you got cars in front. You got a car. You got a homie in front of you, and you got a homie behind you. You know what I'm saying? So that nobody can see you. Like y'all know how that. Y'all know how that go. Y'all know how that go. So these are all papers. Is that the word I was looking for? Convoy? I feel like it is. The papers all up in your face. Oh man, the 70s. What a time to be alive. Five card deep minimum? Jeez. See, I, I go with the three. I go with the three. Five cars? Jeez, man. That's, that's next level shit right there. Here's the silver paper. Connor Usilton 
for the Pirates to full net and in. Alrighty. Ronald Acuna, Bowman defining moment. A blue Trevor Rogers for the Marlins. Jacob Pearson of the Angels with the auto. Dude, the 70s, which, uh, according to my parents, was the time to be alive if you were into drugs and stuff of that nature. Trying to catch me riding dirty. Trying to catch me riding dirty. All right. Actually, let's put these away real quick. So I can uh, get my other box. There it go. All right, let's continue this break. Court Kings for eBay coming up right after. I do appreciate you guys' patience waiting for the next eBay break. Thank you very much. That's the jam, Mario! You know? Dude, Bowman is super nice, man. They throw in the little paper base in there so I can make it rain in the club, paper base. D.L. Hall with the purple paper for the Orioles. For basketball, Prism shot it. Prism is where it's at with basketball. I learned that uh, about a week ago. Shane Baz, autograph, purple for the Pirates. Yeah, Fish, Prism is where it's at for the basketball, dog. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get our hands on anymore. Distributors are hoarding that stuff, man. Listen, I've only been doing this stuff for about a year now. So I have about a year's worth of product knowledge under my belt. Which is nothing compared to some of you guys. Some of you guys have been doing this stuff since you were little. You hit a Kuzma Mojo? What was it? Was it, uh, was it the luck of the lottery? Was it the... Um, was it an insert auto? What, what was it? Was it a silver? Was it a... Dude, give me deets on that Kyle Kuzma because that's a really good hit. That's a really good hit. Uh, these are all paper here. Let me check. Let me put my fingers through it. That way I know. That sounds a little dirty, but you like it. All right. All paper there. We got one box left. I go through these chromies for the homies. You got a mojo silver, damn dude. That's big money right there, dude. That's stupid money. I think I saw, I think it was like Alonzo. Somebody pulled Alonzo Black Luck of the Lottery, and I could have sworn I saw somebody post it on Instagram. And it was selling for like stupid money. For like 10 G's or something stupid like that. Yeah, man. I, I learned that the hard way with Prism. I was like, oh, snap. We're going to get to these autos. And then one of my boys was like, nah, dog. Fuck the autos. It's all about them parallels, homie. Which is kind of crazy to me. I mean, it makes sense, though. It's all about the rarity and all that stuff. So it makes sense once it, once, once it was broken down to me. But to actually see it on eBay and what some of those cards are getting. Like, dude, Jason Tatum Silver selling for over $600. Like, fuck. For one card? You know, the base set going for like 50 bucks a pop? Like, dude. Chris Oki of the Reds, blue. Got 
Kyle Lewis Blue for the Mariners. That's a good card. Got a blue auto coming up. Griffin Canning of the Angels Blue. That's nice. You know, next next time Prism comes back around, well, then again, it really depends on the draft class. This draft class is just, honestly, probably going to be one of the greats. We're, you know, at about, you know, six, you know, the thing with basketball, you got to let players develop. So I think within about six to seven years, I think we're going to be looking back at this draft class as being pretty special. Yeah, Ben Simmons is retarded. Super high. They have the Lonzo up for eBay on twenty for twenty grand. Yeah, that's. I think that's. I think I saw a picture of it. I'm not sure. I. I well, the the card I seen was a luck of the uh, luck of the lottery, black Lonzo ball, the one hundred and one. Uh, autographed. I think, and I think he was selling that. He had it listed for like over fifteen grand or ten G's or some stupid like that. Shane Bass, Pirates, Silver, Base. AJ Puckett, Blue for the White Sox. I don't know about you guys. My favorite rookie, ha I, I say it all the time, Dennis Smith Jr. is my boy. Is my boy. There you go, Seth Corey. For the Giants autograph. And the rest are base. Okay. You know, McBapa, I don't, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but you know, you ain't lying. I did pull two Tatum Silvers in the in, a, in the same half case. I, I do. I pulled a few. Uh, I pulled a few Tatums. I think the the lowest one. I think I may have pulled a green Tatum. Smith is a baller. Terrence Ferguson also going to be good. But uh, another rookie you guys need to be talking about as well is that kid out there in Utah, man. Donovan Mitchell, bro. Oh, my God. The kid about a week ago, the kid put up 41 points. A couple nights ago, he put up 25. Uh, I think he did it on the Warriors or something. Like, the kid puts up dumb numbers. And playing for Utah, he's only going to get better. Because Utah, you know, they're going through some injuries right now. So he's getting playing time out the wazoo. And he's he's making the best of it, man. That kid, that kid's, kid's going to be a stud. He really is. But I still like Dennis Smith Jr. better, man. Oladipo's a monster. He's not a rookie, though. You know, I'm talking strictly rookies. Miles Turner is another guy that's gonna probably gonna take a jump this year. Yeah, for sure. I agree. I think this draft class might be the best class since the 04 class. I know I know that sounds ridiculous, but give it another five or six years. When these players really develop into the pros they're they're gonna be you know that's the thing especially with these youngins man these youngins they're coming into the league 19 20 years old they still don't have the body of you know of an actual man so they're literally still growing up like you gotta give these kids some time you gotta give these kids some time you know people were saying brandon ingram was a bust and he's playing really good this year Malik Monk is another guy that can light it up, dude, out there in, in, in Charlotte. Not a lot of people talking about him either. But I would agree. I feel like Kuzma might be the steal of the draft, all things considered. But you got to give Donovan Mitchell a look, too. Nobody was talking about him, myself included, until he started getting buckets. And Lonzo's going to be fine. Lonzo's going to be fine. 
Dustin, what can I say, man? I'm not Jason. I don't have the uh, the Bowman skills. Damn, Fish, to say Kuzma has the same work ethic of Kobe Bryant? That is pretty... Dude, that's pretty high praise, man. I think there's a Yankee Auto in there. Uh, I'll, do the, I'll do the recap once I'm done. And I'm almost done. It's the last box right here. Oh, this is paper. We got some refractors in the back here. All paper. Dude, that's a hella bold statement. You must be a Laker fan. As a Laker fan, how do you feel about Lonzo Ball? Here. You know, I'm, I'm currently putting in that work on 2K right now, dog. I refuse to pay for VC. So this is all paper. Yes, sir. Your boy up to that 70 overall right now, but I ain't paying for that VC. That's hard work. That's straight up hard work. Troy Bacon. Now I'm hungry for the Braves with a purple parallel. Griffin Canning of the Angels, Silver Auto. You hold up. Am I hearing you guys are saying you're glad Kobe Bryant is gone? Dude, that's kind of crazy. What's also crazy is I kind of grew up with Kobe. And I'm not a Kobe fan by any means. But I saw him play all 20 years of his career. That's kind of nuts. Yo, Fish, I'm actually hearing that uh, the Cavaliers are in talks with Oklahoma to get Paul George. That could be interesting. Oh, come on, dude. Kobe gave you guys five titles. Come on now. One of the best uh, shooting guards of all time. Yeah, my biggest problem with Lonzo Ball, I agree, is his dad. Oh yeah, Kobe's time was like a good, a good two, three years ago, honestly. Nick Allen Silver for the A's. That's the four ninety nine. A blue Will Benson for the Indians. Uh, I will check it uh, when I get the chance. Uh, James Bow. Joey Morgan of the Tigers. Autograph. Oh, Stephen P. Nah, I know you're a hater, dog. So you're telling me Kobe Bryant is not a top 10 guard all time? Really? Joey Morgan Tigers. Auto. Well, listen, your girl hasn't even seen me yet, Jason. So off my hands alone, she knows I'm gorgeous. Damn. Damn. She loves my. <laughs> Dude, Kobe is probably the second best shooting guard ever. Hans Krause, Rangers to 499, the silver base. What's up, Laura? Make sure you give my boy that, uh, that real nasty, sloppy, strange. JJ Matijevic. Oh, the Astros purple. What it do, black and gold? Taylor Walls of the Rays on card auto. Um, 
I need 55s. All right, Stephen P. I want you to name five shooting guards better than Kobe Bryant, not name Michael Jordan. Taylor Walls of the Rays Auto. And there's some really good shooting guards out there. But uh, I, can't, I, can't, I can't compare any of them to Kobe, honestly. And I'm not even a, I'm not even like that big of a Kobe fan. It's just you know, game recognized game, right, Papa? Of course, Jason, you already know, dog. I just I don't get no likes, man. I don't have 15 accounts like you do playing the numbers game. Who got time to make all those emails? Not me. All papers here. These are all paper base. Oh, I see a gold. Desmond Lindsay. Blue for the Mets. Let's get to the gold. Anderson Tejeda. Gold for the Rangers. That's nice. To 50. Very nice. The only only shooting guards aside from Michael Jordan that I can probably put in Kobe's class, Dwayne Wade and Allen Iverson. And everybody knows Allen Iverson is my favorite player all time. Dennis Johnson, really good. Undersized, though. Undersized. Cal Wright for the Braves. Purple Auto. Astros, they're doing. I'll do the recap in a bit. Yeah, three rings. But DJ played with the... Was, wasn't he on the Celtics? Or am I thinking about the uh, a different, similar-sounding Dennis Johnson? Paper. Like I feel like Dennis Johnson, like or a similar sounding player, played for the Suns and Charles Barkley, and came close to winning a title, but no cigar. Yes, that's right. That was the call. I was gonna say Bird steals the ball from Isaiah, gives it to uh, DJ under underneath the trailer for the go ahead bucket. Which, to this day, <laughs> Isaiah probably still beats himself up for that one. Dude, those were some really fun teams to watch. Mind you, I, I, didn't watch, I didn't watch it live, but I did watch tape and stuff like that later on. Mackenzie Gore, silver base for the Padres. What do I have here? And probably the last auto, Luis Gonzalez of the White Sox. There's been some, and you know, in the history, there's been some really good shooting guards. Clyde Drexler. Allen Houston used to give me nightmares back in the day. Reggie Miller. Steve Smith used to light it up back in the day. But I would put none of those people above Kobe. And people, that was the break. Uh, have a recap coming up here shortly. Once I'm done with the recap, I'm going to go ahead and break some court kings. Since we are talking uh, basketball. Wait, was it? Okay, George Gervin. Didn't George Gervin play small forward mostly? Earl the Pearl Monroe, okay, I'll give you that one. John Stockton, point guard, doesn't count. Uh, Clyde the Glide Drexler, not better than Kobe Bryant. 
Jerry West, even he himself acknowledged not better than Kobe Bryant. John Havlicek, I'll give you that one. Uh, Allen Iverson, you know what? I'll take Allen Iverson over Kobe Bryant, but you got me there. That's my favorite player. Um, what else you got? Uh, Reggie Miller, better than Kobe? No. Uh, Ray Allen, better than Kobe? Uh, no. Alex English was nasty, too. Dr. J was sick as fuck, but, you know, he's mostly small forward. You know what's another really good uh, guard nobody talks about? That kid, uh, I think he was from, like, Slovakia or something like that. I forget his name, but he played for the Nets. He played for the Nets. Mark Jackson, one of the all-time greatest point guards ever. For the Knicks and the Pacers back in the day, that kid is a that guy's a bulldog, an amazing commentator, and I wish that uh, he got more credit for what he did building those Golden State teams, because uh, Steve Kerr is really just soaking up all the work that uh, that he put in. Yeah, Petrovich, yes, I think that's his name. He passed away fairly early. It was pretty tragic. Dra I think Drazen, Drazen Petrovic, I think was his name. Drazen Petrovic. I remember watching tape of his when I was a kid, man. No, actually, I got to see him live when I was a kid. He used to play against, uh, against the Heat back in the Miami arena, dude. Those are some of my earliest childhood memories, man. Good times. Oh, damn, crashing the Autobahn, no joke. What's up, uh, Aqua? Recap time, y'all. So we hit a, a printing plate 101 for Peyton Remy of the Cubs. There it is. But autos. Gonzalez, White Sox. Wright, Braves, Purple. Walls, Rays. Morgan, Tigers. Griffin, Angel, Silver. Corey, Giants. Canning, Angels, Blue. Baz, Pirates, Purple. Pearson, Angels. Vientos Mets, Clement Indians Blue, Paris Astros, Brody Mets Silver, Bass Pirates, Rooker Twins Blue, Heisman White Sox, Carlson Mariners uh, Silver, Ramos Giants, that's sweet. A Silver Downs for the Reds, Lowther Orioles Blue, Murphy Brewers, Tabor Diamondback Silver, Krause Rangers, Miller Marlins, Rogers Marlins Green, Lowther Orioles, Clemens Blue Jays, Corey Giants Purple, Martin Astros, Gore Padres, and Stuart Fairchild for the Reds. Boom! And that was 2017 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo Full Case PYT number one eBay style. Thank you very much, guys.